Hello children, welcome back. Today we will continue with the same lesson that chapter number 5, Disaster. So in the previous class we have learned about the meaning of disaster and the types. So disaster means when death and destruction occurs on large scale due to man's activity or due to the forces of nature is known as a disaster. So this disaster is an event that occurs suddenly leading to the loss of life and property. So it disrupts the environment and even it causes economic loss. So there are two types of disaster that's natural disaster and man-made. So what do you mean by natural disaster? So these disasters are caused due to the action of the nature and they are quite powerful uncontrollable and they occur suddenly and it causes severe uh, uh, damage to life and property. So example you can take flood, landslide, tsunami or uh, you can even uh, take volcanic eruption. So today we will do or we will study about the man-made disaster. So man-made disaster okay you can see on page 42 these are caused by man's action okay whether it's uh, on the uh, negligence or the deliberate action of human being causes man-made disaster so example fire terror attack nuclear disaster chemical and biological disaster and accident so first let's take fire so fire it can take place anytime and at any place so it spreads quickly and widely okay when a substance already on fire is exposed to highly inflammable things like you can say coal uh, petroleum and plastic second you have terror attack now terror attack means okay it refers to the uh, sudden use of and deliberate use of violence to threaten the people okay in order to achieve political or religious goal and this terror attack also will cause a threat or it leads to the loss of life and property so now we'll do nuclear disaster so uh, destruction or the disaster caused due to nuclear fission and nuclear fusion is known as a uh, nuclear disaster now during the nuclear fission a large nucleus okay will break down into smaller nuclei releasing a large amount of energy in the form of heat and radiation and this nuclear energy is also released by nuclear fusion which uh, joins nucleus uh, releasing tremendous energy and though this nuclear energy is valuable but the threat Posed by it cannot be underestimated. So let, next number four is a chemical and biological disaster. Okay. Now what is this chemical disaster? These are caused by the accidental release of chemicals or the dangerous chemical into the environment. So this uh, we can result in the death of the plant workers or the people living nearby then biological uh, disaster so these are caused by the living organism like microbes and bacteria then when these uh, disease causing germs like bacteria and viruses are used okay to harm people uh, like they are used deliberately to harm people it's known as a biological weapon so last one we have an accident now what is an accident so when death occurs on large scale okay so it refers to an undesirable and unintentional event leading to the death of large number of people we call it as an accident okay so when accident cause death of large number of people then we call it as a disaster okay so that's all the, these are the important factors or these are the important types of man-made disaster.